What's up America? This is Kim and Neil with Geauga Firearms Academy and we're back at Blade Tech taking over their studio. Once again, we're going to be talking about a super cool product. As a matter of fact, by the time you see this, it'll be available of course, but right now at this moment in time, it's top secret. And I'm super excited about it because it solves a bunch of problems that I've always had with putting gear on stuff. And you guys are going to love this. So let's check it out. If you haven't already, check out our other video where we bring Zach in and we talk about the Total Eclipse 2. I'll put a link below. But right now, let's have Zach come in and show By us. popular demand, Zach is back. <laughs> Zach is back to tell us more about this new product. He's the product specialist here at Blade Tech, so he's going to tell you all the stuff that you need to know, all the stuff I'm going to screw up and call the wrong names. So this guy is what we're talking about. We're going to give you some close-ups here in a minute. You can see it in great detail. And of course, Zach's going to go over all that. But let me just give you the two seconds. What's it called? So I don't screw it up. Go ahead. Tech mount. Tech mount. All right. It's called a tech mount. I'm probably going to call it five different things. But this tech mount solves a lot of problems. So uh, if you are like me and you are always adding gear, different holsters, different equipment, maybe you're moving stuff around on a, on a vest or a belt or whatever the case is, and I got this manufacturer that does this, and this mount goes with that. It's a big mess, okay? So they solved all this, and they added some other cool features. So I'm just gonna grab a holster, it's a safari line, it doesn't make any difference. Here's the product, check this out, watch how easy this is. It clicks in, done, right? Well, everybody does that. Check this out. Not only does it lock, but I'll get, we'll show you close-ups, watch this. I can stop it here, it's locked. I can press, stop it here, it's locked. I don't have to take it off, I can just turn it. It's super cool, it's super fast. And then, we'll get some close-ups, but I basically move a lever there, and it's locked on there. Uh, I talked to uh, the CEO, and he gave me some cool facts about how it's like impenetrable and impossible to break, it's super awesome, so we'll get into the details, but that's why I love this thing. Now, if I wanna take this bad boy off, all I do is make sure I unlock it, press the button, and bingo, bango. That's how easy it is. So any direction you want, anywhere you want, we'll talk about what you can attach it to as far as what goes on the back. Uh, but I'm super excited about this. So how can you buy this tech mount? What does it come with? Sure. Um, it's a two-piece quick mount system, quick connect system. We're going to sell it on our traditional tech lock, which everybody loves and knows very much. Uh, the two pieces are going to be the receiver plate as well as the 360 insert disc. The receiver plate goes on your belt, on your kit, wherever you want to mount it really. And then the 360 insert disc goes on your holster, attachment, mag pouch, what have you. So it's going to come basically like this on tech lock with the receiver. It's also going to come on our duty drop and offset for like a duty style uh, holster setup with a thigh strap, as well as if you're running it on Molly, we're going to include three inch mollies on for the tech mount receiver. The beauty of this system is just all the, the uses. At first I thought, oh, just holsters, but the more you think about it, the more uses you could use this for. Um, it's also going to come with, a, you said a multi... A multi-surface mounting kit where you can take It'll just come with the tech mount receiver, not with this tech lock, but you can take this receiver and place it on anywhere. We place it on the inside of a vehicle, um, on desks, and really wherever your imagination takes you with the tech mount receiver. And the multi-surface mounting kit, you can place it. We are going to show you a, a variety of different uses that you can use it for. What are the, what are the things can you use it for? So besides holsters, a lot of us will do uh, use the 360 insert disc to attach to mag pouches. Um, we have a few different varieties here of nylon or hard shell kydex style like what we do, as well as other pouches um, and then non-lethal, so like your taser holsters and so on. And tourniquets. Tourniquet pouches, yes, Medical definitely. kits. Medical. I mean, you could attach it to a backpack if you're going to be, you know, Certainly. hiking or something like that or a duty belt or anything with molly on it, right? Yep, any, any molly attachments or if you just want to like stage, so something I'm personally going to use it for is staging medical equipment. Um, in my vehicle so I can attach it to separate places just in case if I do need medical. Now we're going to bring the camera up close so Zach can show you how these two pieces lock together. As you can see here we actually have it on a Safari Land UBL as well as on a Safari Land Duty Style Level 3 holster. Speaking of this we do uh, have an adapter that's called the Safari Land adapter that does mount to the hole pattern of the Safari Land holster. Just simply make sure that the locking mechanism is in the center and then just insert your accessory and you'll hear that initial tactile click and then you'll go on the bottom here, throw that lever lock and now it's secure in place. So with this like a holster system and this is really where it's going to shine is you're going to insert it initially and then say if you want to get a little bit of more forward cant or rearward cant, push down on that primary locking mechanism and then you can slide it in 10 degree increments forward or back and it locks into place. 
and again with that secondary locking mechanism. The beauty of this system is it gives you the freedom to choose the cant option that you want. So pro tip about this system is you're gonna to have to make sure that this secondary locking mechanism is indeed in the center in order for you to actually insert your equipment. So if you have your secondary locking mechanism to the side, your equipment won't go in. So you wanna make sure that guy is in the center. There's a little bit of a detent there. And then you throw it in place and then lock into place. Besides for tourniquets and holsters, you can do a medical bag. You can just line it up, put it, and we can figure out what can't we want it at, lock it into place, and we're good to go. Or we can take that off and we can put a handcuffs in there. There's so many different uses for this. One of the things I really like about this, other than what we just talked about, having the adjustable cant and moving stuff around, is how easy it is to switch stuff out. So we've got four different holsters here. Uh, depending on what I want to run for that day, or maybe I'm going to switch during a training session, whatever the case may be, I just want to make sure that my locking mechanism is in the, the center position there. This will come right on. I can lock that on. If I want to switch this off, I press the tab, take that off. Maybe I want to put another device on there, move it around. Again, look how easy this is to just swap this stuff on. And again, as we said, if I want to change the cant, it's locked up. There we go. It's locked down there, not going anywhere. Pop that off. Switch this back on. I mean, as far as being adaptable to whatever your kit is and your loadout, that's pretty awesome. That was a tech mount by Blade Tech. You're really limited by your imaginations on the different uses you can use for it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a like, a thumbs up, a share. We always love to hear from you guys. You can follow us here on YouTube. You should follow Blade Tech as well. Check out their channel. Um, you can find us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Rumble, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. six.